Okay, so the goal of this video is to show you my notation for what happens when you create a new object, um, either in BlueJ using the object bench or actually in Java code. I have a, uh, a class called the point class, and um, if I show you the code for the point class, you'll see it's a very simple class, um, class point, it has two instance variables, two fields, the x location, which is of type double, the y location, which is of type double, and my constructor. We know it's the constructor because it has the same name as the class, right? It's class point, public point. There's no void or return type or anything in here. And we just set the x location field to be 3 and the y location field to be 6.2. Okay, so um, what I want to do is just kind of walk you through that process. Uh, as background, we've got our, our point, and we're going to right click on the point class and say new point. That'll pop up this create object window. We'll type in we want to call it point one. We'll say OK. And now on our object bench, we'll get something called point one down here. If we double click on that or right click and say inspect, we'll see that the values of the two fields were set appropriately. If you're just writing code in Java instead of using the object bench, here's a line of code that does the same thing. Okay, so let's just briefly talk about how to do my notation. This is not in the BlueJ book, but this is how I draw it. Okay, here's the code again if you want to take a look. We've got the two fields, x location and y location, and then here's our constructor. All right, so to begin, get a big piece of paper and make two sections on the piece of paper. You're going to call one of them variables and one of them objects. All right. So the question is, what happens when you make a new point object, right? And again, we're doing this one and two thing, right? We're creating a new point object. We're right clicking on it. We're saying point one and we're saying, okay, or we're just writing this code. Okay. So we're going to see what happens when you do that. Well, of course, if we're looking at the code that goes with that, um, visual creation, we always evaluate the right hand side of an assignment statement and then do the left. So the right hand side says make a new point. So we're going to make a new box, a class box for the point object. And we put a little crown on it to say it's important. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make boxes inside of this point object that represent the fields in the object. So you can see I made an X location. It's of type double. We set it to the default of zero. Y location is type double, set the location to zero. Okay. Next, we're going to run the constructor method. Okay. The constructor point constructor, we do line by line by line. Okay. We've got a couple of comments here. And then it says X location gets 3.0. Evaluate the right hand side, put it in the left. Take 3.0 and put it in the X location of the new object you just made. So right now it's zero, but magic, it becomes 3.0. The next line of code says Y location gets 6.2. Initially it was zero, but now it's 6.2. Okay. So now our point is set up. The next thing that you do, you evaluate the right hand side, you put the answer in the left hand side. This actually does two things. This is declaring the point, right? So making the box for it and then putting the answer in. So first we make a box. The box is of type point, right? It's a box that represents a, a point object. The name of it is point one, right? And we're going to add the arrow so that that points at the object we just created. So there's our arrow. And very important, note that this arrow is pointing at the outside of this point object, right? We're trying to say this thing here is this whole object. It's not just the X location or just the Y location. It's the whole object. 